Well, last night, there were over 800 people at the annual News Press Market Watch program at the Harborside Event Center to hear predictions about our local real estate market. Danny Grimes, Wink News Real Estate contributor, one of the keynote speakers, and he's here now to give us an insight about what we should expect in the next few months. And, and you believe, Danny, we are on a road to recovery. Yes, uh, we, we talked about the future, but I had to go back and draw some parallels with what's really going on now so people understand. If you really look at last year, we had, when you combine home sales and condo sales, we had our third best year on record. In fact, the condo sales last year, 2011, outpaced uh, er every other year in the past. So sales are strong. Now, people get kind of mixed up when they see that the sales are down from previous years, right. but the reason they're down is because we don't have as much, as many foreclosures on the market not as much inventory so that the sales numbers are falling. That's not an important indicator. The important indicators for our market is we have the second largest price increase from a percentage standpoint year over year, over about 32%. Hmm. 2005 was the only time that we had a bigger one. Wow, okay, that puts it in some per perspective. So we know people talked about the bottom of the market for a real long time, and so really the bottom of the market was almost two and a half years ago, and we have, we have gone up steadily. Uh, and the median price is still low, about $120,000, but it's creeping up, and, and we, have pro we, we projected it will creep up in spite of what they're, they're talking about now on the shadow inventory. Yeah, there's shadow inventory, which we understand is that homes that are out there but not for sale, right. that are empty or whatnot, but there are shadow buyers. Right. No one ever talks about the shadow buyers, and, but I meet them all the time. They're going to they're gonna wait for the shadow invent inventory to, to release, and then they're going to step into the market. And there's a lot of people think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Those are the shadow buyers. But once that shadow inventory starts to start to hit the market, they're going to step in because that is the last shoe to fall. There's nothing else behind it. And so I believe in our market particularly, we've already proven that we can absorb anything they want to throw at us. I think there's going to be some shadow buyers step in and absorb that quicker. <clears throat> and the other thing I said last night is I really think that most of the shadow inventory that hits our market will be above the current median price, which means that when the shadow inventory comes, I believe our prices will increase. And the significance to our area is as, a, as our price goes up, the builders, the cost of the new home becomes more competitive with a resale. Mm. And so builders can go back to work, and so we can start waiting in line for, at 7-Eleven for big gulps because all the contractors will be working again, driving around. And that will be good news for our economy. Instead of fearing the shadow inventory, we almost want to welcome it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we're going to have to get a root canal, let's get it over with. But I don't think the root canal is going to be as bad as what people say it's going to be. And lots. A good time to go out and get lots. Yeah, down. Yeah, that's right. Now, it, now is the time to go out and buy scattered lots in Cape Coral, I believe. Be smart about it. There are people in fear. Need some money. You can probably pick up lots anywhere from, you know, if you get under five, it's a good deal. Uh, but, you know, five to $7,000. And um, I believe that's, that, that market's about bottomed. And the bottom line, though, for us, we are as healthy as we were in the early 2000s now, yeah, huh? That's right. If you do our trend line over the last couple of years, we're matching what we did in the early 2000s, and our market has not looked this good since then. Well, good. And let's keep the trend going. You bet. All right, Denny, thanks for that market update. And hope last night it all went well. If you have questions for Denny, you can send them to Denny at DennyGrimes.com. We'll try to answer them for you when Denny comes in and visits. We'll be right back. Top stories, weather and traffic. After this. <laughs>